Hi. Um, sorry, it's been a. I just adjusted the mic. I hope that didn't get picked up. Um, I, I'm sorry it's been a few days since the last upload. Um, we just. I, I don't really have footage right now. Um, and I'm working on a bigger video involving Tekken. Specifically, um, I'm making a video. It was gonna be like a really big defense of Kazuya Mishima, like the character. But now it's going to be more like, of the Mishimas, he's the least offensive. You know, he's done the least amount of bad things. Because let, if I'm being completely honest, he like he still has some crimes under his belt, no doubt. But like compared to Heihachi and Jen, it's it's nothing. Um, but the other thing that threw that off is the Tekken 8 demo. First, it threw it off because I played the story and I was like, fuck. Literally all like everything I'm saying is being undone by by this story, but I also feel like I, c I Can end the video with some like Man, this isn't even like this is this, this 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 is cheap writing, you know, Jin is Suddenly a hero and Kazuya is suddenly the most evil person on the planet and it I do stand by that. It is very sudden for both of them to have a face and heel turn, respectively. I'm gonna go close the door real quick. I just figure it'll have better audio quality, I'm not actually sure. But the point of today's video is, um, I need to get a video out, just for posterity's sake. And, uh, I want to talk about the Tekken 8 demo, because I have some thoughts about it. Now you may be wondering why you're probably watching Tekken 7 footage. I'm not actually sure what's on screen right now. If I have old Tekken footage of me playing like online, then I'll use that here. I, this, I, I can just look for it real quick. Just uh, don't be so embarrassing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I, I still got footage. So I'll just use that. Um, so I, I, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, the reason is just with the way the apartment is set up, it would be very... I don't want to unplug the PlayStation or the, um, or my PC to use the Elgato to record the PlayStation 5. It's, it'd be a whole thing. And I just don't think it's worth it just to discuss the demo. Um, if I do, if we do, like, Let's Play the Tekken 8 story or something like that, I'll definitely, like, make the effort then. But, um... Tekken 8 demo. Um, I want to talk about it. Uh, I did pretty much everything in it. The only thing that I really skipped out on was uh, Nina, because I just I've never played Nina, and I've never had interest in her. Because like I've tried pretty much every character at least back in like Tekken 3 and 4 and stuff. Uh, 2, 3, and 4, right? Because um, I'll explain that in a moment. But I just. Nina's pseudo grappler style it's just never jived with me. It's like this is this isn't the game I want to be playing. Um if I did want to play a pseudo grappler, it'd be more like Armor King. But it's like he's literally a Mishima, you know, like I I'm at home here. I know how to play these characters. Um But yeah, uh well I'll I'll just bring up I'm cause I'll totally forget what I was gonna say is I I got into Tekken because like Rob, you remember Rob, you know, he loved it, and he loved playing it, and I always thought, like, I want to get into it, but it's just, it's so much, like, I just don't get it. Like, all these moves, and I have no idea which ones matter, slash, I don't get this movement system, I don't get blocking. So, with time, I learned some of those things, of course, right? Like, blocking, you can just stand there and it blocks, and you want to default block high rather than low, you know, the, the usual stuff, but... I really fell in love with Tekken when... I got to play Tekken 2 for free on the PS5. Uh, I don't think you can anymore, or maybe you can, I don't fucking know. Um, but I got Tekken 2, and I was like, hey, let's let's try this out, let's try this out, man. And we played it, and uh, because the moveset was so much simpler, and Tekken 2, if you didn't know, is locked to a 2D plane for most characters. Well, it, it's a 3D game, but you don't. most characters can't control the Z-axis, uh, li like other games. There's no sidestep or anything, except for Kazuya. He has some, he has the missed step. Um, so it's neat because I, I, I played that and I was like, oh my god, I think I'm starting to get it. Like, I'm, I'm starting to get it. And like, what also helped was 
Rather than having a move list consisting of 100 moves, characters had like 30 moves, which... Then I move on to Tekken 3, I emulated that, and I really love that game. Tekken 3 is still a fantastic game. Like, I, I, I unlocked every character, this goes for 2 and 4. I unlocked every character, I, I played every arcade mode, like, I just had a grand fucking time with it. And, um, I did the same for 4. I, I got it physically for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm really... I like that. I, 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 I'm proud of that. I own Tekken 4 physically. It's awesome. Uh, and then I f uh, fucked around with Tekken 5 and 6. I got 5 on the PS3. It, it was um, Dark Resurrection, which means I didn't get, like... That game is, like, really lacking content. It's But it's just... It plays really well, you know? But, um... I certainly wouldn't mind getting Tekken 5 PS2 at some point. And Rob already owned Tekken 6 and uh, Tag 2, so... You know, just... So, my, my basic point being, I worked my way up through the Tekken series, and that... When I finally got back to 7, and I started playing it, I was like, God, everything just makes sense now. So, to like, Carter, or anyone who might be watching this and wants to get into Tekken, but you, you Like, you play other fighting games just fine. But Tekken is just this, like, why, what the fuck is happening? Um, going as early as you can and then working your way up, I think, is, like, a very worthwhile thing. But also, like, hell, I might make a tutorial, just, like, a very beginner's tutorial for Tekken uh, 7 or 8, because, well, not 8, actually, you know? Let's go ahead and start talking about the demo, what, what I think. Boy, learning tools. That, that menu... The, the second you enter your move list, the fact that there's two pages. There's your whole move list, and there's recommended moves. God almighty, what a fucking... What a savior here, right? And then, recommended moves, here's like two launchers. Out of those launchers, you should do this combo. And, like, God, it just... That is already so good. Like, I know Tekken 7 had, like, sample combos, but it wasn't explained, like, why they worked or, like, what properties each move had that made it a combo, that made it an air combo. So, like, Tekken 8, like, it has the recommended moves, but then you go into the full move list, and so many moves have little notes next to them that say, like, this has long reach, this has armor, this is good for uh, hitting low opponents, this is good for blank and blank. Just straight up telling you what the move is for. And then also just categorizing them, like, here is your command grabs, here is your launchers, here is your stance stuff. Uh, it, it's just, it's, it's so beginner friendly. I genuinely wish I had, if I, if anyone were to start at any Tekken, 8 really might be the one, because it, it, it's so beginner friendly. And then you have modes to try it on, like... I'll just go linearly here, so... Linearly as in what I played. So, I played versus computer first, right? I, I didn't have anyone with me who would play with me. Uh, so I was just fighting the computer. Uh, so, Kazuya is very fun. I like the new moves they gave him. I love that Patricide Fist is in the game. Like, they gave Kazuya the move that killed Heihachi. Like, that, that shit is so fucking raw. It's great. And it's out of Wave Dash. Like, goddamn. That shit is so hot. Um, Kazuya's really, really fucking fun. And he really shows up. Well, everyone shows us up, but playing him, I'm like, oh. There's, like, effects now. W when a move is more special, like should draw your eye more like there is a special effect with it there's like a particle or like a motion line or something and it's just wow okay this move is important i fucking i understand that now and it, it it's really awesome but then i move over to jen and i'm like jesus christ people were not lying they made him so easy they gave him a hop kick which if i'm not mistaken i don't think jen had a hop kick before if i'm wrong you know, correct me on that. I, I know he had the double kicks, like the uh, down 3 plus 4. I know he had that, which is still a launcher, an easy mode launcher. But, like, just a standard-ass hop kick, like, that makes him so much more um, generalized with the rest of the cast. Like, okay, you can learn the game through Jin now. That's insane. And he has, like, this insane low... The down 2, everyone's complaining about the down 2, as they should. Like, oh my god, I, I'm gonna get hit by that shit so much. Uh, but he, Jin is like, I I like Jin in 7, 
but I could never like get into him. Like he takes so much practice. Like he's 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 a character for masters, right? You have to master him. Oh my god, you do not have to do it. like fucking one two one, right? It's a combo starter and a combo spinner. I completely forget the name of that property of move, but it's the one where you hit them in the air and it spins them out. Uh, it's like the second to last part of a combo, pretty much. But it's like one to one. It starts a combo. It's it's the. <laughs> It can genuinely be the first, second, and third phase of your combo. It's it's stupid. It's insane. It's it's I love it. And it's like, goddamn, Jin really is just crazy here. Um, the heat system. I I like it. I, I I like it for a few reasons. One in particular a lot is one, uh it's it's like a, a V trigger or like an instinct where um it really characterizes the characters. It gives them something unique. It highlights what makes them special. Like Kazuya and Jin, it, it upgrades their wave dash stuff and makes it easier too. So that's really cool. Uh, Paul, it upgrades his like death fist and stuff. It, it, it gives him special cancels out of that, out of his like really big powerful moves and gives him extra charge abilities and stuff. I don't even know what Aunt, what Nina's does. I'm sorry. I promise it's not because she's a girl or anything. I love playing as girls. But it's just, it's it's just, I her playstyle is not for me. Like don't get don't get me wrong. I'm gonna play the fuck out of Reina and uh, Panda, <laughs> and uh, I want to try Azu Senna really bad. I want to try a lot of people in in this game. Uh, but the heat system is really cool for that. I like that it has a finisher because it gives you like an ideal, right? It's Use it as much as you can, either chipping people with your normal moves or using your special abilities. Like, you can use, like, three at max, maybe, before it runs out. Uh, and then hit him with the finisher. Because if you don't hit him with the finisher, then it's like, damn, that's a wasted opportunity. I like that, because, you know, it, it's it's some good tension. The finishers are really fun and flashy. Uh, it, it's I, I think they're cooler than the Rage Drives in Tekken 7. And, um... Fuck me, what is it? Uh... Oh yeah, like, it's gonna be obvious that people are gonna try and want to use them, so you can bait them out and stuff. It's it's very cool. Um, I do think it's weird that you just start every round with, with uh, heat. I, I don't... I still don't think there's like... Like, I know it heals your gray health, right? Which, that's a reason to not immediately start the round with it, but... I don't think they've made it more strategic. I think they've just given you a reason to not immediately start. But it's like, a lot of the heat engager moves, which to my knowledge, you can't not engage heat when you land one. A lot of them, like, are just, like, pivotal parts of your moveset. Like, I'm not- I, you will never land Paul's Death Fist without engaging heat, right? So it's like, there's no strategy to it, really. It's just- when you get an advantage, you just have that advantage now, and you want to push it. The thing about it is, like, if I ever did land Paul's Death Fist, I would never choose to not use Heat, because, like, what? I, it, it get, you get, it starts again every round, and, well, it's... Tekken 8 is an aggressive game, no doubt. Like, they want that, they've made that clear, like, this is, this is by design. But it's, like, so aggressive to the point where everyone might be kind of a set play kind of situation. Just the second you get an advantage, just start your mix-ups. Start the schmicks, you know, just go crazy. Uh, because if you do it correctly, that's the end of the round. Like, easy. So it's, it's interesting. Uh, they don't give you the option to not engage heat, but you would never choose to not, so, so it's okay. Uh, ultimately, I, I like, I do really like the things Heat allows, and, and the things it, like, encourages. I, I guess, I, I guess people aren't gonna immediately try and start with Heat, right? As, not as much as they originally did. I, I, I think it's okay. I, I, I think it's okay where it is now. Uh, Rage is still here, and it's simpler than Seven, because there's no Rage Drives, it's just Rage Arts, just the supers. So... I guess we're just gonna see a lot of those. I 
I do think it's kind of weird that they took depth away from rage, because you can still choose to, like, not spend your rage art so you do more damage in general, but, like, when the opponent is at, like, 30% health or something like that, there's no reason to not spend it. Like, just do it. Like, there's no reason not to. It, it, it's definitely following the trend in fighting games of we want supers to happen so very, very, very fucking bad. We want them to happen all the time. We want them to happen every match because we spend a lot of money on them. Like, it's very Mortal Kombat 1 and um, 11 where it's like... You never saw supers in 9 and X because the bar was used for other things like combo breakers, like better things. So now it's 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 just you're gonna see the fucking super. You're gonna you're gonna get tired of them by the end of the tournament, uh, which I think is almost a shame. But the supers are a lot cooler this time, so there's that. But um, so then I tried Paul. Well, I, I'll, I'll go linear. So I then went on to play the story mode, and other than like my own private gr my my own like personal grievances with the story mode. Uh, like, like with Kazuya now just being a villain and Jin being a hero. Um, like, Kazuya just speaks so much truth at Jin's face. Like, you're the one who killed all these people. You're the one with blood on your hands. And then he goes and starts killing civilians. Like, I just don't... It, it, it almost feels like lazy writing, you know? I'm not gonna accuse that. You know, I, I'm not saying I could do better, but I just... It feels cheap. It feels cheap and bad. But uh, the production of the story mode, holy shit, this is like miles above seven so far. Well, I, you know, I only saw the first chapter, but like, first chapter of fucking Tekken 7, it wasn't this. It wasn't this at all. Like, and I, I, from what the people who got to play more of the game, they all seem to say it, it just keeps that pace, it keeps that budget. Like, there's no stupid reporter in the story that's like narrating things it's just go 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 it's like a fast and furious movie i heard some people say i think it was the main man sui who said that if not maybe it was like maximilian i don't fucking know um I i've been watching a lot of youtube <laughs> and but it's fun it's fun and i like it and it's very it has the things i like from the seven story and seems to get rid of the things that i didn't like so i i'm genuinely excited for the story mode what I was more surprised by was the arcade story mode. Everyone's saying this is, wow, the arcade story mode is like actually really cool. It like, it looks, it looks like Roblox, but like, damn, bro, it looks. I mean, it it plays good, like it's fun. And what what got me about it was how like, oh, this is a tutorial. Th this this is here for people to learn the game, and they make it fun. And, and I like it because I, I, I picked Paul for it because I was like, let me learn Paul. Let me learn Paul in this game. I was just fucking around with him, just learning stuff, I, and I'm being taught things about Paul. It's cool. Like, it's really, really cool. Uh, so I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying that a lot, you know? Uh, like, it's just a cool thing. I don't know if I'll, like, be as committed to it. Like, I will probably finish it if it's, if it's not too long. Because I like that there's, like... It's a meta story, you know? It's about people playing Tekken. And I like that there's this little message like, Nah, however you enjoy Tekken, you're valid for that. And if you if you think you can only enjoy Tekken by taking it ultra seriously, then you're a loser. And it, it's cool. I really, really like it. It's, it's encouraging people to enjoy the game on their own terms. I, it's really, I, I'm excited for that. Uh, my only regret is, I finally got to fight someone in the store, a computer who used Panda. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. I have to beat them, but I want to see their moves. So I'm still patiently waiting on the goddamn Kuma, Kuma trailer. I just, ugh. They've merged him with Heihachi. I need to see how much. I need to see if he's literally my perfect character. Because I know he's going to have forward forward two, which is my favorite launcher in the game. I, uh, he's gonna, they're gonna have bear stance probably, like, I just, I need to see, because I love Kuma. I don't think I've ever said this on YouTube, but, like, I, I, I might main Kuma now, because, like, I was fucking with them. Spe speaking of which, like, let me tell y'all, if you're starting the game, if you're starting fucking Tekken, you can start as Jin, that's fine. Do not start as Kazuya. Like, that, that man is not for... 
beginners. He's just not. He's like he's gonna he's probably gonna be the hardest character to play again. Like your main launcher, your main combo tool is on a just frame crouch dash, and that's just not something you're gonna get down very fast. And trying to master that won't help you master Tekken itself. So just keep in mind, Jen is okay because he's got cheater bullshit. But like, start with Paul or someone else easy, simpler, like. Play who you want, I'm just saying, if you love Kazuya, maybe just learn someone else first so you can learn the game, and then learn Kazuya, you know? It's just, it's not, it's not how it should, it's just, he's just tough, he's a tough guy. I recommend Kuma, hit that forward forward too. See him launch into the sky, it's great, it's, it's awesome. And then when you finish the arcade story mode, I think that's what it's called. The, you know, the chibi story mode. Um, in the demo. Not the whole story, just the first chapter. You unlock, uh, Ghost Battle. Which, I, I've, I've played Ghosts before in fighting games, and it's always like, Well, this sucks. This just is not, this is not it, you know? Um, like, let's see, like, Samurai Showdown, the, the 3D one, it had, like, like, the newer one. It had that, and it sucked. Like, no matter how much you fought it, it would just jump. It would just, like, jump around. It was really weird. Because if it was me, then it would be wake up DPing every time. But, no, it just jumped all over the place. It was bizarre. Uh, I got into round two or three of my first match against the Ghost in Tekken 8. And I could already tell he was becoming me. Like, just straight up. One thing I love about it is if you perform a successful combo against the ghost, it now owns that combo. It will do that combo. Like, you can do it, I can do it. Straight up. If you whiff the combo too, he might whiff it in the same way, which is the funniest thing in the world. But I, I ended up playing against the ghost for like an hour straight. Because one, it was just fun. I was also, like, mesmerized. I was like, oh, my God, he is learning. Like, like this, like, it, he is me. That ghost, the ghost of Paul Phoenix that I was fighting, of, of Ransom, of Devil May High, um, I knew it was 100% me when it did a strike throw mix-up. Like, the same one I had been doing to it. And I was like, oh, I, wow. And then it was footseeing the same way I did. It was doing spacing better than me, to be perfectly honest. And it was just... The same percentage of time I used a move, it would copy. Like, uh, this has got to be the best ghost in all of fighting games. It's, ju it's just you. It just turns into you. Give it an hour, and it will just be you. At the end of that hour, I lost a match. Like, how crazy is that? I lost to myself. <laughs> um, absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I, I truly cannot believe how good that fucking ghost is. Um, yeah, no, uh, please. <laughs> if you have a PS5, try the fucking demo, dude. And if not, it's coming to Steam and Xbox in like a few days, so I recommend it there too. I might do like more of a video with, eh, probably not. Um, and look forward to that Kazuya did nothing wrong video. It, it's coming, it's just, it's it's more work than I thought it was gonna be. And like, I'm gonna have to revise it. Like, I'm gonna have to put like, a whole new section at the end talking about Tekken 8 seems to really be fucking destroying me here and everything I was saying. But uh, I'll stand by up to seven. I think Kazuya is damn near an innocent person and I will explain in detail why uh, when that video comes out. Otherwise, um, like everyone in f the Flash Deers, um, you know, it's the holiday season, so people are kind of all over, you know, so it, I don't know how consistently we'll be able to do like Let's Play stuff. We are going to try and do something like this weekend, I think. Um, so that's good. Uh, Came Game will still be happening, no doubt. That's, that's, that's just scheduled. Um, we have a 
Well, I don't want to spoil something. Well, no, I... He already knows. Um, for as a as a Christmas present, we got James a new mic, and he will receive that soon. So everyone look forward to James and his new uh, quality sound quality. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. And we've been discussing something. We've been discussing the fact that there's a certain let's play we want to do, but I don't want to do it until James gets a better mic. And now that he's going to have one, uh, hopefully it works and everything, you know, uh, cross my fingers, hope I, you know, knock on wood, right? But, um, if James, if the, if, if the mic works and everything, uh, me, Carter, and James have a very particular let's play we want to do. I won't spoil it, but we're going to make a thing of it, because I think this, this is going to be one of the more, I want this to be special. I want it to be fucking special. Um, I think that's it for me. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tekken. Uh, don't main Kazuya yet. And don't hit me with down two with Jin. Please, don't do that. Don't abuse it. I'll get hit every time. I can't block low in Tekken. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Y'all have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time.